Hello, this is a new one for texture painting with Blender 2.8 and in this one I will use the material that we created in the previous part, but I want to combine it with texture stencils and masks. You remember with our material we are able to paint color and height at the same time. But now let's add a stencil and paint with this and you will see you can create really interesting effects. So after undo I go here to the texture tab and add a new texture for my brush. I set the name to stencil and then I press the open button and here are some textures that are contained in the orb brushes package, I added the link to the description and this hammered metal could be really interesting as stencil. Ok, now we added this texture, then I go to the properties panel and then to the texture section where you can see that the texture is added and then I set the brush mapping from tiled to stencil. Alright, and when I hover now with the cursor over the viewport, you can see that the stencil is active. You can move this stencil around by pressing the right mouse button and moving the mouse. And when you hold the shift key pressed and move the mouse with the right mouse button pressed, you can scale it. And by pressing Ctrl and the right mouse button, you can rotate it. Ok, and now let's use this to paint onto the mesh. I rotate and snap the view and then I just paint onto this with the left mouse button pressed and this leads to a really interesting effect. It's a bit slow because I have my resolution of the viewport set to a very high number, but it's fast enough to use it for painting. Now this looks very interesting, I increase the size of the stencil and the brush a bit and paint in larger areas here at the edges. And then I go ahead and set the value of the color to a darker tone and because we defined the material to combine color and height, painting with a dark tone is like deleting this information that we painted in before. If you want to delete some parts fully, you can remove the stencil set the color to a black tone and then you paint onto the model where you want parts to be removed. Again you can enable post-processing effects, for example ambient occlusion or bloom to make it look more shiny and bright. You can set the stencil texture here in the top bar as well, so you don't have to search the section in the properties panel. Just select the texture that you added and set the brush mapping to stencil. But what you can do as well is to use this texture as a mask for the brush. You can also find this here in the top bar under texture mask and after selecting it, you are painting with this texture and the size of the brush that you can set by pressing the F key determines the size of the mask. And with this approach you can achieve also really interesting results like this. Ok guys, that's it again. I hope you liked these Blender texture painting tutorials. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, add these to the comments below. Also suggestions for new videos are very welcome. Thanks for watching, consider being my patron, that would be really cool and I'll see you on JNM.